Alright guys, so this is going to be the part two now. This is going to be dealing with Blender. Um, this is where we're going to start rigging up the armature, the avatar basically to get ready for Unity. Um, this is going to be pretty straightforward I think. So now again we're dealing with the clown blight model here. So if you recall we did all the exporting and things like that using U model. Um, so once you have uh, everything already exported um, just letting you guys know anytime that things export it creates this file within your directory called U model export So that's where all your goodies are going to be um, for your avatar So all you have to do is just right click cut and what I usually like to do is paste it on the desktop here um, You can rename the folder if you want um, I'm just showing you what I usually typically do But for this case, I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I actually have that very same folder and I labeled it as clown here So I'm just going to go ahead and empty that Okay, so you can go ahead and close out your directory if you do no longer need it. Now, um, this again is going to be using Blender 2.8, so let's go ahead and open up Blender here. Okay, you're introduced with this screen here. All you have to do is hit anywhere on the preview screen here. Go and click A on the keyboard and hit delete. So again, that's A and then delete, and that deletes everything in your preview window. Um, so now what we're going to do... Um, and I almost forgot actually. So <laughs> before we actually get it started into Blender, actually, um, you guys are actually going to need to download two different uh, plugins for uh, for um, Blender. That being the Cats plugin, and that also being the PSK PSA importer, which is basically loading up meshes and animations from any Unreal Engine based game. And here are those plugins that I almost forgot to mention. Um, so here is the Cats plugin here, and. Uh, this is the plugin that we're going to use to basically uh, merge armatures and things like that and fix the model up once we've gotten everything rigged up and ready to go for Unity. So you're going to want to go ahead and delete this one. Uh, download it for either whatever version you're using, Blender 2.79 or 2.80. I'm specifically using 2.80, and I recommend you guys use 2.80 since I'm going to be using 2.80. Um, so go ahead and grab that plugin and then the PSK PSA importer add-on um, This is the one again for importing uh, meshes and arm, uh, animations within uh, Unreal based games into blender So again, you just download whatever version of blender you're using 2.80 or 2.70 does not matter again I'm using 2.80. I recommend you guys use 2.80 as well to follow along closely with this video and then once you have those plugins, um, you're going to want to find your Blender directory. Um, mine is located in the Steam Apps Common folder. Um, I have my old 2.79 folder here, but you want to go into 2.80 here, go into Scripts, uh, and I believe it's Add-ons. And then this is where you're basically going to drop those um, plugins into. You're just going to drag them and drop them into this folder here. I believe I have the cats one in here already. I mean, I know I do, but I just don't remember how it's set up. Oh yeah, here we go. So I have the import scene Unreal PSK PSA 2.80 the right there. Uh, and then somewhere in there, I think there's cats. It could be a folder. I can't really remember. Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Cats Blender Plugin 0, uh, 14, 0. Um Depending on whatever version you're using and because in the purpose of this video, I was using 0 0.14, but you could be using a different version of cats than me, so. It's all the same though. Um, so yeah, once you have those uh, plugins, we're going to go into Blender again here. So remember we clicked A on the keyboard and hit delete. Now we're going to go into File, uh, sorry, Edit, Preferences. And then this is where we're going to enable those uh, plugins. So right here, look for your Cat's Blender plugin. So I already have that checked. You're just going to check it here. And then you're going to want to find your Import, Export, Unreal Skeleton, PSK Animation Set, and PSA 280. I'm going to click on that one. And then once you're done there, you should be good to go. And this is where the fun starts. So what you're going to want to do next is go into uh, this little tiny spot right here. So uh, right in the corner over here, you'll see like this little arrow. And you just want to click on that little arrow and it'll bring up these little uh, toolbar uh, clippies. Um, in 2.79 they used to be on this side, but in uh, 2.80 they're now on this side in that little tiny spot. So uh, you'll have this one, the PSK PSA importer, and then your cat plug-in right here. So what we're going to want to do first is click on our PSK PSA importer, and then we're going to want to click on don't invert root bone. So if you don't check this, anytime you import a PSK mesh, the skeleton is going to be flipped upside down. So if you don't click on that, 
you're gonna run into problems so be sure you click on this import PSK and now this is where the fun begins so go ahead and find that clown folder you had and we're gonna go ahead and go into characters in it slashers Guam models bodies and we're gonna click on the body double click it and we have the body now inside of our preview window here so we're gonna go ahead and click this body um, so you'll see it's a little blocky here so what you want to do is you want to click on it right click shade smooth so click left click right click shade smooth and that'll smooth out your um, mesh here now we're gonna go ahead and import the head here all right so this is where we're gonna have to merge armatures and again you don't have to delete unnecessary bones cats does it all for you now so before I used to show you, you have to delete individual bones and then um, apply empty grooves and all this crazy shit now you don't have to do that anymore honestly all you really have to do now so click on your head one here your head armature all you have to do is left click it go into the cats plugin here go into custom model creation click on merge all bones and then make sure that it's selecting the body as the base since we imported the body armature first so the head armature is going to go into the body armature now just click on merge armatures done did it all for you and to confirm this if you click on the armature and then click into pose mode at the top here now select the chest bone here and then go over to your left and click on rotate and then just kind of play around with this oh sorry forgot it always does this when I use cats um, anytime that the armature locks up just go over here to your right over here you'll see like a little character it looks like he's kind of playing hopscotch or something click on this and then hit pose uh, position now go back over to your preview window and if you move this you'll see the armature is all fully connected so that's how you know that it works properly now say that you're playing around with the armature a lot you set it that over here you set this over here you set that like that or something anytime you want to reset the armature you just hit control on the keyboard and G or control it could be oh sorry I forgot if you click a on the keyboard and then control uh, Control G, I believe, or Control. Oh, okay, sorry. It's been a little while since I've done this, as you can tell. Okay, so anytime you say, let's go ahead and do that again. So we'll move an arm here, we'll move another arm there, uh, we'll move his chest upside down, I don't know. Um, hit A on the keyboard, that'll select all of your bones. Then hit ALT on the keyboard, so hold it down, and then ALT plus R and that resets your armature. So ALT on the keyboard plus R resets the uh, pose positions. So now let's go back into object mode here because we're still not done finishing this model. Um, go back over to our PSK importer, import PSK, because now we're gonna attach the hair to the model. So there you go, there's his hair. Right click, shade smooth. So every time you wanna make sure that this is smoothed out, so left click, shade smooth and then go back into our cats again merge armature you don't have to do this every single time um, I don't think I usually do it every single time just to make sure that the bones are merging properly so anytime I add a new uh, mesh to the model I always just keep going back to merging arm armatures so again it's already set for us merge all bones just check the hair make sure it's going into the body armature here and in this case it is so merge armatures done go back into PSK importer add the additional things that you need to the model uh, so I think bodies is next neck models um, so here's the flower here so the flower also has um, some additional things um, I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video in terms of our um, animations because this flower does animate so for now and the purpose of this video I'm actually gonna leave it out because it does have animations tied to it so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit control Z on the keyboard and that'll delete that from the model um, so let's see we're gonna go back into our PSK importer uh, the bubbles so here we go bubbles and again left click right click shade smooth and then click on that armature there and then we're gonna go into cats merge armatures all right, it's all done for us, and there we go. Now if we go back and test out our armature, okay, gotta make sure it's always in pose position. 
And there you go. That's how you know that the armature is working correctly because nothing um, isn't tied to the, or there are things tied to that bone. And if anything is not sticking to that bone anytime you move a bone, then that means you have an issue. So this, this is pretty much done. Uh, now we just go into object mode. Uh, right, uh, left click, uh, shade smooth again, just to make sure that everything's smoothed out. Um, and now we're going to go back into cats. And now this little, um, this little wrench that you see here, actually, before we do that, click on the body here, go into your materials, uh, folder, uh, well tab. The materials here is basically where all the, um, textures, uh, are for this model specifically. Um, so what I like to do is make sure that all these colors are raised all the way up. So you'll see that it's going to be all white. You want to make sure all these are white because if they're not white, you're going to have to set them manually in Unity. Otherwise, the textures will look a little doled out. So that's why I always make sure that these are white here. It's kind of tedious, but there's only a few to work with here. See the hair here. Okay, and the accessory. Okay, and there we go. So all the materials are now completely white. Um, the other thing is too, this this uh, character actually comes with a cloth dynamic as you can see on the back here so this um, cloth will actually move in uh, unity um, but the way that we're gonna make it move again I'm gonna demonstrate this in another video is I'm just doing this to future proof um, anytime you have cloth dynamics make sure that this mesh is its own um, its own standalone mesh and so to basically get all these um, to be separated by material um, so that you can acquire that mesh is you basically click on your mesh here and you can uh, hit uh, edit mode up at the top left and then hit control P or sorry just P on the keyboard and then by material and this will separate your meshes by material so this material right here this mesh um, created it's uh, or sorry by by separating the materials by mesh, it created that mesh from that material um, separate. So as you can see here, um, it has the legs. These leg cloths would move, and this cloth will move. Um, but again, I'm going to show you guys in another video how these are going to actually move in Unity using cloth dynamics. Um, so um, I, I'd like to also keep these two separated. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into edit mode again, and I'm going to go into P. And now I'm going to do loose parts. And what this does is now it separates these little leg pieces from this little skirt piece he has. Because before they used to be joined. By doing, uh, by loose parts, you can do them individually now. So when we get into the cloth dynamics portion of this, I'm actually going to put cloth dynamics, uh, dynamics on these separate, um, separately from the cloth on his butt here. So that's exactly why we do that. So again, what we did was we hit... Um, we hit P on the keyboard. Uh, well, we had to be in edit mode, P on the keyboard. What you would do first is go buy material. And if you want some, um, and if you have some more meshes that are tied to that, that have cloth dynamics, then you would just basically go uh, click on it again and then go buy loose materials instead of buy material. And that'll basically separate them as you see there from the uh, butt cloth there. So now we have the uh, leg cloth dynamics down here and then our butt cloth dynamic back here. So these are gonna move separately um, and not together like these two are gonna be. So that is exactly why we did that. And usually what I like to do then is I like to um, join all these uh, meshes back together. So what we're gonna do is, so this one's called, we're gonna call this one um, cloth and then where's the one for his feet? Uh, okay, so body 007, so we're gonna call this one um, leg cloth. Okay, and then we're just gonna select every single one of these and join them back up. And what we're, how we're gonna do that is we're gonna select um, body 006 and then hold shift on the keyboard, five, four, three, two, one, and then hit control on the keyboard plus J and that will join them all back up. And then I like to rename this and just call it body. Okay, so now we got our body mesh, and then we have our leg cloths and our butt uh, cloth back there. 
Okay, now we're going to get back into cats here. And we're going to go into the little cog up here next to fix, um, or wrench next to fix model. Um, uncheck every single one of these and keep keep upper chests enabled. Hit OK. And then all you have to do now is just hit fix model. And what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of um, useless bones that you no longer need anymore um, from the old armature or from Dead by Daylight. This includes like elbow rotations, uh, well, elbow elbow roll rotations or clavicle row uh, roll rotations um, those kind of bones are useless and we do not need them for vr chat and that's why cats gets rid of them for us but the cool thing about cats is it doesn't get rid of bones that um, that are tied to the armature additional bones it is so such as the bones that help uh, the key ring move or the finger ring move um, so or this little belt has its own um, bones and cats doesn't get rid of those luckily and that's what's so cool about this tool it's, it's very very powerful so yeah um that's pretty much it for that now what we're going to do now is we're going to click on our armature and hit a on the keyboard and we're going to basically scale down this model to appropriate um uh, height for VR check because this model is like huge um, for whatever reason from scale form or however the whatever programs that they use I have a text here that I've made and you guys can copy these same values so for male campers female campers it would be these values slashers are 0 0.0098 and for whatever reason ghost and spirit and nurse use these values specifically otherwise they're a little too small um, so slashers for this one we're going to grab 0 0.0098 so I'm going to copy that to my keyboard here and I'm going to then go back into Blender. We're going to go under the item tab up here where the PSK Cats plugin is. And then for X, we're going to hit Control V on the keyboard for X, Y, and Z. Now this scales it down appropriately. And there you have it. Your clown model is now finished pretty much, or whatever model it is that you're working with from Dead by Daylight. So this. Uh, this guy is called, um, I'm just going to call him Clown Blight for right now, because I forgot what his actual name is in-game. Um, but you can, I usually like, for cosmetics, I usually like to go Clown, uh, the name of the actual uh, character, and I usually like to go by the cosmetic name, but in this case I forgot the cosmetic name, so I'm just going to call it Blight for the purpose of this video. Um, but when I get back into um, the next video for Unity, you're going to see with, with the, the correct model. Um, so, and then what I like to do is just make sure that this says Armature. It's just OCD things, you don't really need to do that. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty much done. Now all you have to do is just go into File, Export, FBX, and again, rename it to what you want. We're going to set this to the desktop, so Clown uh, Light. And there you go. It created the FBX file for Unity, and now all you have to do is plug that thing into Unity, and that's where the next video is going to take place. So that's pretty much the gist of it for Blender. It's very simple um, for rigging, not very much to it. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will definitely help you out if you have any problems whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.